<gasps> Alright, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be watching You, Season 2, Episode 4. Now, in the last episode, Joe wants to see if Hendy is a piece of shit or not. He He's very skeptical of it. All, it's all to protect Ellie, right? Because she's interning for him and he wants to make sure, okay, is he a piece of shit or not? If he is, I'm going to expose him. I'm going to find the evidence and I'm going to save Ellie, right? So he went to the party and he found his, like, jack top and and he brought everything back to Will, and Will went through it all. He went through all social media, and there was nothing. There was nothing to be found. So, so I was like, okay. So then Joe kind of gave up on. It. He's like, all right. Well, I guess he's a. De I guess he's a good guy. Then like whatever. Because like from Joe's perspective of interacting with Hendy, he's a solid dude. But obviously he doesn't know him well at all. And then Forty mentioned this this dungeon, this like secret room he has in his house, which I'm pretty sure is a sex dungeon. So Joe's gonna try and get back into it. Now, how does he get back into the house? you wait for another party or you just like straight up break in like he already went into the house once so he might know he might have noticed a way to get in secretly a second time but yeah i'm gonna stop wasting time we're just gonna hop right into this episode if you'd like to watch the full length reaction that will be available on patreon as well early access to the next two episodes of you will also be available on patreon so let's get started don't touch me or what is joe seeing his parents fight the book your soul is writing about you so why do i keep dreaming about my childhood because it traumatized you, probably? Processed feelings about how my parents didn't take very good care of me. But now you do. In Will, you haven't heard from him, have you? He, um, hmm. Yeah. <laughs> and the guy must really not be feeling well. Yeah, okay, tomorrow afternoon? Yeah. Uh, why do you sound so out of breath? <laughs> you know, I gotta go. Old me would be annoyed by such an intrusion. But new me wasn't even phased by it no i think it's because she kept doing stuff while she was still on the phone you know didn't pick you for an outer space guy <laughs> <laughs> yeah that's not for interstellar browsing hey you can see my house from here <laughs> all the better to spy on you <laughs> not that i've needed to since i trust you completely 40 don't tell him about us but if your brother knew about us maybe he'd give us some space remind me I don't think so. Whenever I start dating someone, 40 tends to feel threatened. No, he doesn't have many mm. people to count on, so he needs me. He doesn't want them taking a love away from him. She's all he really has, so. Even your empathy is a turn on. Just wait until Santa Barbara this weekend. I know. Mm. We take a rain check on Santa Barbara. The more time you spend with him now, the cooler he'll be when well, we do tell him. I told you, I don't want you- I'm not hanging out with Henderson anymore. Why, what do you do? He just drinks too much, it's embarrassing. This explains why she hasn't been texting Henderson all week. Blush. I never thought I'd say this, but I feel for Delilah. She's only trying to protect her sister from the same sleazeball she fell victim to. Hmm. Can you believe she put that spy software on my phone? Shit. Oh. Sure it was her? Who else would it be? So you're not gonna tell her you know? Obviously not. This is what I get for trying to out-tech a teenager. It's a yeah. good thing I have another way to keep tabs. <laughs> well, what? I mean, it makes sense she would notice it or whatever. She would figure it out. So, okay, I think she's still working for Henderson. Yeah, they're still talking. Ellie hasn't fallen in line. She's gotten craftier. I could tell Delilah, but then I'd have to explain. Or I could take care of it. The brave, good, right thing to do. The kind of... People have secret rooms to hide something shameful and doubtless illegal. If I find what Hendy's hiding, I can get him arrested. And Ellie's safe. With Hendy out of town, perfect time to get back inside his house. But first, there's someone else I have to take care of. Will. <laughs> Probably going insane, dude. Okay, what? Okay, let's have a conversation. If I let you out, what's your plan? To forget any of this happened and to live happily ever after with Gigi and Manila. I can make a fake passport and you will never hear from me again. I... You like games? Love them. <laughs> Other contexts, dude. Right. I will let you out. If you prove you'll never turn me in. Prove my loyalty. <sighs> How am I supposed to do that from inside a cage? No, you're smart. I believe in you. Don't give up. You need something to get your brain juices flowing. Yeah, I need fucking sunlight, dude. <laughs> I need Henderson's home security disabled. 
Are you going to need a jammer? People put those signs around their house to make them feel safe. ADP. As it only makes it easier for people like me to find out which frequency they're broadcasting on. See, guys, that's why you gotta use Simply Safe. Oh, you don't know what Simply Safe is? Well, actually, it's a. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Where's the toy room? Ooh. Oh, okay, Bruce Wayne. <laughs> oh, D bot. Well, when the battery dies, it. Oh, God, what the fuck is this? Could he be more obvious? Delilah. He's a bad man who deserves to be punished. Come on, you can do this. Add a girl, get to work. We didn't accidentally run into you guys. We planned it. Yeah. Surprise. <laughs> really? If I didn't know you better, I'd call that a sneaky, insecure Beck kind of move. Mm. You know, I would get in my head and like research everyone and. <laughs> Most of the time, stress induced. And just like that, I'm part of the tribe, thanks to you. Oh, 40 probably feels left out, though. No invite. Mm hmm. Why don't you just sit down? Why? So you can lie to my face right now? Yeah, I've been knowing that you two are hooking up. Ooh. And I was just waiting for you to come clean. And you don't even have the decency to invite me to your coming out brunch. We can talk about this when I cut no, your hair No, you're not touching my hair! Shit. Hey, hey, just let him go. Well, I mean, like, Joe and Love were gonna tell him, it's just they wanted to wait a little bit, get 40 more comfortable with Joe, so we do tell him it's not, like, super weird or anything. You know, but, like, yeah. But, I mean, like, yeah, in the last episode, 40 literally heard them, like, fucking, so. But new me, the me I'm becoming because of you, is going to make this better for you, me, and 40. I feel like it's not. 40 wants to be included. All right, so let's include him. Standing Sunday brunch thing. I, li I like that idea. Beach day, once a month. Once. <laughs> yeah, just take him along and do stuff with him. He would really like that. Mm -hmm. Starting now, I'm going to be a better friend. I'm going to help him come up with a killer pitch. It would be my honor. Okay, Joe. Great ideas. I'm all, I'm on board. Fantastic. I feel like it's gonna backfire somehow though. Well, yeah, of course. But like so fucking off the record, it's not even funny. Some of the girls in the photos, maybe all, are underage. That prick you've been trying to nail, Henderson. Man, Delilah. And uh... if I break the story and it comes out later that the same thing happened to me, then I lose all credibility. Ugh. I'll say that I got them anonymous. Yeah, so some star fucker cops can get paid off to bury them. I know the right people to talk to. We should get a drink sometime. You're single. It's complicated. Ooh. But how about now? Seems mm. like you've got your hands full yeah. already. Hey, you're taking care of Joe right now, dog. Oh, he's a big boy. I'm gonna need you to stay here for a bit. Read your book. I'll be back. Mom of the year, wow. So I can apologize for losing my shit yesterday. Go with me to buy a new suit for the pitch. Sure, let's go shopping. No, like, just me and love. Self-conscious when I go suit shopping because of my thighs. Forty, Will and I have plans. It's fine. Will doesn't mind. <sighs> Do you, old sport? I mean, he's gonna, he's gonna say no. He's a monster. Not at all. Yeah. He's gonna say no for now, but taking love away from, from Joe. Why hasn't Delilah gotten Henderson arrested yet? Flaming hot Cheetos. Stress food. Very bad sign. I just wanted to make sure you got that envelope on your doorstep. Mm. How did you know about that? I saw a girl drop it off. If someone is bothering you, I'll go to the cops. I'll go with you. you relax? Somebody's stalking me. This is about Henderson. A woman you saw dropped his kitty porn photos on my doorstep. And he said they're useless and he can't do shit with them because Henderson's not in them. Mm -hmm. And the backdrop's completely nondescript. Ba mm -hmm. I mean, like, like, yeah, I was going to say, like, you can't prove that these are linked to Henderson in any way, so. Henderson's house, then they could have made a case, but as it yeah. is, whoever swiped them bungled the shit out of this. Mm-hmm. 
double fuck. Promised to help your brother, but now I have to make sure Ellie doesn't walk into the jaws of perversion. I'll have to keep it short with 40. Has to murder all three women. It's like the ultimate irony. Sounds, sounds horrible. We need to like spitball that page 90 shit. He's not going to let me leave until I say. Honestly, I think it's genius. Mm. Joe, you can't do him dirty like this. I think we are on a roll. I think we should go all night. Ooh. You don't want to overwork the dough. I think you should go to South by tonight. Ooh. Pitch it tomorrow. No, Joe, you're fucking him over so hard. Show him you're in demand. Start a bidding war. Mm. Fuck yeah. Fuck yeah. I'm gonna do it. Good for you. No, Joe, that's fucked. This is fucked. He's gonna go there all confident and shit. It's like, it's like this is like the worst script ever, dude. Where you been? <sighs> the market for four hours you're old enough to know that your mom sometimes accidentally tells a little lie mm -hmm. but i know you always tell the truth okay, yeah i'm guessing this is his stepdad not his real dad and his, his stepdad is a lot like ron don't burn him with the cigarette i'm gonna get him to confess on video ruin his career and get him arrested why the more I learn about you, the more clearly I see the answer to your question. How can you be sure I'll be loyal once you let me out? Mm -hmm. You can't, you can never really be. There is no answer. Yeah. No matter what I say, you will never be sure if I'll turn you in. But I... Key to protect someone, which we all hope we would have the courage to do that. To me, that makes you more good than bad. I think you're a good man. You could kill Henderson, but... You're letting justice take its court. Another impossible puzzle, love. But for you, I'll try to solve anything. Feel bad for Will, dude. Feel bad. He never, he didn't do anything wrong to be in this cage. And he's just trapped in here. And like, sounds like he's never getting out because Joe can't, can, will never be able to truly trust him. That, but it still feels weird. Like you were trying to get him out of towns. So. Mm hmm. Half truths just end up getting me burned, so I should lie. Will, please do not make this worse by lying to me. <laughs> that is what I needed to hear. Now I have to go. I don't want to miss my flight. Your flight? Yeah. Where are we going? I'm going to be 40's sober companion. That's how oh. fine. Kill me now. Well, good job, Joe. Great job. And then Love's going to read that script and be like, Joe, why the fuck did you tell him it's good? Jonah's the one with the print, so no screening tonight. Sorry. Here, I'll, I'll call you an Uber. Wait, dude, mm -hmm. I came all this way. Well, we can still hang. Joe's already in the house. We're friends, and it's cool. I mean, you're massively cool, but you're also 15, so we're not hanging out in my house alone. I'm not some random girl child. And you said for weeks you would watch my short. All right, fine. But mm. you have to promise me you're not going to tell anybody that you were here alone with me, okay? Because it's kind of... I get it. I'm a vault. This is his clever trick to make her feel safe like she chose. Mm-hmm. Proud of you, eyeballs. Now I really want to hear your future idea. Well, I never pitch without at least one scotch in me for luck. So, in your case, what do you want, juice? Uh, yeah, I'll take a while. Don't put anything in the. He's good. Is he gonna put something else in her drink? What the fuck is that? And a twist of GHB for roofing the teenaged girl. What a fucking piece of shit. How did Ellie not notice the salt being thrown? Always putting it in Hendy's drink. To his dose kicking in first, which it will. It's a yep. hell of a lot stronger. Yeah, he put it in his... Oh, I thought that was like his hair in front of his eyes too. I was like, what the fuck? <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. <sighs> what? Easy, easy. So he knows your voice though. He knows your voice. Help me! I'm going to help you after you confess to what you've been hiding in this little secret room. Now, Kink, I'm talking about your thing for underage girls. Like the one upstairs, for starters. Ellie? I never touched her. I don't have a thing for underage girls. This is insane! The pictures in your cigar box suggest otherwise. Those aren't mine. I I I'm holding them for a friend, all right? He knows he needs help. Okay. Just scare him into telling the truth. No, what are you doing? No, 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 what do you want? What do you want? Ow! Oh, no. Yep, you burned the cigarette on Joe. 
Scare him into telling the truth, like, like his stepdad did. Okay, okay, they're mine, they're mine, they're mine, they're mine. Okay, I, I never touch them, I swear. I would just, they would fall asleep and I would take their tops off, snap a few photos, which I wouldn't share with anyone, and then, who gets hurt? Nobody. I... No, that's fucked up, dude. That's so fucking weird. You're wrong. And if you believe any of what you just said, you're sick. These are kids. I can't do that. That would, that would destroy me. I'd lose everything. You deserve to. No, 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 okay. I'll... Remember, this is of your own volition you know what he's gonna recognize joe i know he has a mask on but i'll know he'll know it's joe from the fucking chest hair coming out of his goddamn shirt <laughs> yeah he's he's trying to like get a good look at joe to like memorize his physique okay fine i'm i'm bad all right i'm disgusting what do you think i like this shit my stepdad he, he touched me stop that and when I finally told my mom about it, she made me promise not to tell anyone. Henderson. I was only nine years old. Henderson, shut up. This happened to you too, didn't it? No, 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 no. That's why you're doing this? No. You hate yourself, so you're trying to destroy me? I'm warning you. We're the same. No, no. Oh, you took your mask off. God damn it, Joe. He didn't even realize he... You have to kill him now. You have to kill him. You were trying to help him? You are trying to be a hero? Is that what you think this is, huh? You feel like you're a piece of shit, so you're trying to be a hero. Ruining my life is not going to save you from your demons, all right? What we went through, this shit stays. Success or religion or surviving fucking ball cancer, that's not going to save you, okay? Nothing can. He's trying to get in my head. Nothing alike. Love is the biggest phony of them all. You want something real? An orgasm is real. He's, He's desperate. Real. He is bad. Someone needs to stop him, and he knows it. Oh, shit. Joe, you have to kill him now. Did that kill him? Oh shit. No, no, this isn't me. Get it together. Well, Joe, you just killed a very high profile celebrity, so th this one's not going to be easy to cover up. A suicide. He slit his wrist, regretted it, went for help, fell going up the stairs. All right, Dexter. Oh, Joe. No, 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 no. Can't have another jar of urine scenario. She's gonna wake up. Big like, Joe, what the hell are you doing? Mm. Oh, fuck. She know about the room, though? I don't think she does, so she won't go down it. But she's gonna be looking for Henderson. Yeah, get her to leave. I just have to clean up my blood. <gasps> oh. No, no, that is my blood mixing with his. No. I mean, if it's all mixed together, I don't. I don't think they'll be able to detect like his the difference. This can still look like an ill-conceived suicide. Um, full Dexter mode here again, kind of. <laughs> what the? Oh my god. Okay. Okay. Be cool. You have in the, you have the bag in your hand? Fuck. A little late to be taking out the trash, huh? The, this is Delilah's fuck, buddy. What's in the bag? Oh, fuck. Stuff. For goodwill. This is it. The end of our story. What the? Mm, Joe, what do you do? Oh, headphones? This is a limited edition. Yeah. <laughs> That's what I say. They're too big. Like, I'll take them, but they're yours no. if you want them. No, Joe, you can't give them this. That's evidence. If there's any blood uh, on yeah. that, or anything. Right, Shepard. I've been spared. Maybe it's because Hendy was wrong. Love is real, and I have more to give. Maybe it's because I help people who need someone to look out for them. Growing up, you let Will out. You look like you want to help, like, let him out. You kept him on that secret. Joey, you're such a good boy. Do you want to know another secret? One of these days. We're going to get out of here. I'm going to kill that son of a bitch. Ooh, she probably actually did. Hmm. All your fake passport stuff. Letting me out? This might be the dumbest mistake I've ever made. Mm -hmm. But if Will's right, it's also the one thing that will prove... Very good that I'm good. Yep. I knew you did the right thing. 
It's gonna feel so good for Will to see the sunlight. Or just feel the sunlight again. How long was he in there for? Like two weeks maybe? Something like that. Alright, well. Off he goes to the police station, probably. <laughs> I don't know. I get I don't know if we can trust Will. I don't know. Yeah, but um we need to buy another ticket. I met this uh total smoke show at breakfast with insane destiny moment it's not like you i just look, i've never felt like this before okay just like instantly like um oh my god there she is <gasps> you look amazing um mm -hmm. this uh, this is my sister love hi fuck. i'm amy <laughs> amy fuck <laughs> fuck Oh my fucking god. Okay, Candace is dead. Oh, I mean, uh, Candace is not dead. Okay, I was 100% wrong. Okay. Alright, so Candace is alive. Um, I know I said, like, that, like no, I think she's dead. It's just, like, in Joe's head and everything. Like, no, no, this, this, okay, this is enough proof she's alive. Okay, because it's not a flashback and she met love. Okay, so... Okay, so here's what I think she did. Um, she found Joe in LA, found that Joe was talking slash dating this girl, Love. She found out, okay, Love has a brother. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna go seduce the brother and then so I can get the Joe. This is gonna be interesting when they go back and she's like, she's gonna be like, oh, hi, nice to meet you. And then he's gonna be like, oh, my name's Will. <laughs> and she's gonna be like, oh. You know, okay, I don't think she'll like call him out in front of it, in front of uh, Love or 40. I think she'll like pretend to be Amy when like they meet or whatever. They're being introduced by 40 or whatever and stuff. So, and then they'll have like a private conversation and shit, okay. And Candace is probably gonna try and take Love away from Joe. That's going to destroy Joe because this is actually going pretty smoothly. This is, I'd say this is the most successful relationship Joe has had so far. <laughs> but he also, okay, he also confirmed Hendy was a piece of shit. So like, okay, cool. But then he killed them because he took the mask off by accident. And then he's like, all right, shit, I got to kill you now. They didn't like mean to kill him. Like he just pushed him down the stairs kind of. And Hendy like hit his head hella hard. And then he died. It didn't like show him leave anything behind really. I think, I think he got everything. So I think he's good on that, but that storyline's over now. So now the new storyline is fucking Amy and Candace. So can't wait to see what happens with that in the next episode. So anyways, comment down below what you thought about this episode down below in the comments. And if you liked the video, like the video and thanks for watching.